As a result of ongoing criminal acts in our community, some time ago I directed our special investigation unit to target uh, violent career criminals. And uh, what you see before you is a result of just three recent uh, cases that they worked. Uh, the first one is um, a search warrant that was done at 406 North 20th Street in Fort Pierce. We arrested Freddy and Alan Perez Maziagas. Uh, this investigation took one month. These two defendants are suspected members of the Blood Gang. Five guns were seized, two of which were stolen, and those are two semi-automatic handguns, and the, and the guys will show those to you. Um, at the North 20th Street home, we seized 138 grams of marijuana, 27 MDMA ecstasy pills, five firearms, two of which were stolen. The next uh, case is 314 North 16th Street in Fort Pierce, where we arrested Anthony Lee Walker and Rakid L. Jaheki and Sable Mercedes Quintero. This investigation also took one month. Walker and El Jeki are members of the Nine Trey Gangsters East Side Boys Gang and associated with the Bloods Gang. Uh, Quintero is a gang acquaintance. Seized at the North 16th Street home were 29 grams of cocaine, 4 grams of marijuana, 3 grams of MDA, uh, a digital scale with cocaine and marijuana on it, and approximately $17,000 in cash. And last but not least, on Manth Lane in Port St. Lucie, which is west of the river and north of Port St. Lucie Boulevard, we arrested David Vincent Pitts. He's been under investigation for almost one year. He is not a gang member, but admits that he is a former Bloods gang member. At the Manth home, we seized marijuana grinder with 31 grams of marijuana, 1,187 gram. Uh, $1,187 in cash, a loaded 38 caliber gun, an SKS assault rifle with a bayonet, and a shotgun, both of which were stolen out of burglaries in Port St. Lucie. A glass pipe with marijuana residue, 10 grams of crack and powder cocaine, a digital scale with cocaine residue, 52 pills of oxycodone, and a brown cigar tube containing a small amount of crack cocaine. As you can see from what has been seized, gang members finance their operations with a variety of illegal activities, including drug dealing and trafficking and firearms, as well as burglaries and robberies. I'm asking uh, any members of the public to help us catch drug dealers and gang members. They could do that by calling any suspicious activity to 911, or they can remain anonymous and call their information to the Treasure Coast Crime Stoppers, which is one 800 273-TIPS, and that is 1-800-273-8477. Uh, um, also of note, none of these people uh, are actively employed. Um, they don't have jobs, they don't go to work any day, and this is their careers. And uh, you mix uh, guns, money, and drugs, and uh, our community is suffering, di suffering dire consequences, and uh, we're here to put a stop to it. So uh, this is what we have been working on and will continue to work on. The drug or the gang Bible that you were talking about earlier, I guess, that was seized from the, the 16th Street home? North 16th Street home, yes. And What's I failed to mention that? that, but that was uh, that was seized with the North 16th, 16th Street home. And Al Jeezy or uh, yes. Al Jeki, he is uh, known as the leader of the uh, Trey Nine gang. So. Uh, that's where that, that was seized, that book. Can you talk about why, what was in there and why that's important for your investigators, <clears throat> that Bible? We, we've never uh, uncovered anything like this, and uh, more or less uh, that book highlights uh, an allegiance that people have to take to the gang. It lists uh, their hierarchy as well as uh, some other uh, members, including the president and vice president of the gang. Uh, it lists information about the gang and how they do financing. So this is a very important find for us. Uh, what was uh, Shady's response when you guys came to get him? Um, we, uh, the U.S. Marshals assisted uh, with his arrest. Um, he was completely shocked. He actually uh, fled back into his house when he saw them approaching. Why would someone like that be surprised? <laughs> well, they, they just, they, they live a different uh, mentality. 
um, this this is their life. Um, mm -hmm. This is this is what they do. So they, as you see from the pictures from the other gang members, um, that, that's the world that they live in. You know, guns, drugs, and crime. Any of you guys, uh, did you learn anything or that they could uh, be responsible for hits, putting hits out on people? I mean, you're saying everything but short of that. Uh, I believe we do have some evidence where there's uh, suggested uh, that they were aware of some hits, yes. And they will be spending time reviewing that information. Of course, a lot of it is in code. They're going to have to decipher it. Uh, but uh, there's a lot of important information that was recovered uh, in, this, in these investigations. Who, uh, what, what, I mean, what, where, where do people like this, where do people like this, this come from? I mean, are they ever in school? Do they ever go to school? Do they have family? I mean, who are these people? Living in Port St. Lucie on Manth Lane, that's a middle class neighborhood. Uh, he supposedly had two or three kids in the house when we raided it. Uh, just living like a normal lifestyle in a, in a, a middle class community, but yet uh, this is his business. He doesn't go to work, he does this. He buys, sells drugs, trades drugs for guns, and uh, that's how they operate. What about the kids? Inside? Kids uh, were turned over to other family members that we called. Do you think that the kids knew and were exposed to all of this? And what do you I'm, think that does to you? Oh, I'm sure. And uh, this culture bring, breeds more of the same, and that's what they're trying to do through these pictures. They're trying to glamorize this lifestyle for new members, for their friends, for their family. But now that you have the Bible, um, you know, pretty much countywide, you know who's doing what. Well, of this one gang. I mean, there's many gangs, but of this one gang, uh, we're going to put a lot of pressure on them, that's for sure.